Hello, today we will continue our session milk products. Till today we have finished milk, curd, buttermilk. So, today we are going to see butter, navneet. Sanskrit it is called as navneet. And butter has a great role in human society all over the globe. So, there are different types of butter are made. There are, they are the butter is being put in bread, sandwiches, pizza, or burger and different gulab jamun, different butter, butter halwa. There are different types of food preparations which which made up made up of butter. And India naturally it is very much liked by Lord Krishna butter. This butter is actually vrusham means it is uh, helpful in all tissues of the body because it is almost the extract of milk. When this extract is boiled then ghee is prepared. but it is just prior to ghee. The almost everything which is nutritious is contained uh, is contained in this butter. This butter, it should be again it should be uh, fresh. Means till seven to eight days one can eat the butter, but not more than that. Butter is actually very good in. It is little bit astringent in taste. Where ghee you would not see the taste, but butter has this special taste which is there little bit astringent and the most soft substance in this world is butter. You just touch that butter, and you will see what softness is. Nothing is more softer than this butter and anything which is softer than this butter that is not natural softness. So, natural softness which is the most present in the uh, thing is that butter. This butter is very good when there is bleeding tendencies. Why? There is astringent quality in this butter and we see whenever there is cut, we put some astringent substance means jaifal is there, supari is there, nutmeg is there and uh, any, any astringent thing or alum is there. So, you see you take alum and put it on this area whenever we go to barber shop and when cut is there, previously this barber used to put that alum on this cut area. So, it would immediately stop the blood. Similarly, this I'll, uh, this uh, butter, it has astringent taste inside. When we eat that butter, naturally it actually stops the bleeding tendencies inside the system. It may be piles, it may be ulcerative colitis, it may be bleeding ten tendencies anywhere. This uh, cerebral hemorrhage also, the, this navneet, actually this butter is very good. They have told in cerebral palsy, arditam, navneet sharkara, means they have told to take butter with the sharkara means mishri and butter, makhan mishri, we call it as makhan mishri. That is very, very good substance to be eaten at that time. So, it actually, what it does, it actually uh, solidifies your motion. Generally, Ayurveda says that which is the good quality motion? The motion which is formed like banana, which is yellowish banana. And the, when somebody has motion like that, that is form stool and that is the best tool. So, this Navanit is specially helpful in making the banana like stool. So, it solidifies the stool. It is Agni Vardak, it improves your digestive fire and it gives your memory and intelligence, mean discrimination power and memory. These two things are being nourished by this butter. So, butter is very good substance. Only there are certain misconceptions about butter. There is a lobby. Which, which talks about this butter that butter is very dangerous to cholesterol. Generally, we do not study holistically. We study those patients who were eating butter every day along with cheese pizza and uh, but we do not consider the others, other, uh, other things like these people who likes to eat butter in cheese on uh, pizza or in burger these people has tendency to drink cold drinks or have some drinks which contains ice inside. Generally, butter and ghee in Ayurveda is told to be taken with warm water. When we take it in cold drinks or cold water or ice cold things, 
suppose you have butter butter halwa and if you have ice cream that day's butter is going to be converted into cholesterol so is butter wrong or the system of eating is wrong so definitely system of eating is wrong and these things are being not taken care while doing methodology research methodology so some modern research methodology has certain limitations which they could not take into considerations all these things because holistically they don't go towards the uh, holistically they don't have that type of vision to see so our culture and our science actually advises one to eat butter but along with certain conditions that is warm water should be there or warm food should be there and after eating butter for one hour you should not drink cold water or normal water also so these are the prerequisite conditions which we follow then butter is no more harmful for our cholesterol in fact it will help to increase your hdl cholesterol which is high density lipids which is very helpful for heart thank you